Hello. So we'll be looking at how you can create your own composition today. And the first tool that we'll be looking at is the Cabo Labs Toolkit. Um, so the Cabo Labs Toolkit is made by uh, Pablo and he's done a really good job at uh, putting this all together into a web interface. Uh, so you can just, you know, log in and you have a nice looking web interface. Uh, and initially when you log in, you'll get uh, the premium version and you can use the advanced tools but we only need to use the free tools for this uh, demo. So just click on the clinical document instance generator uh, in XML. So the JSON one is not exactly canonical JSON. Uh, so after you click on this, choose the OPT file that you want to uh, work with. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with a simple OPT called prescription.opt and make sure to click on the composition and uh, just click on generate and after some time you'll get this uh, nice little xml uh, composition and uh, you know just make sure you look at all of the different values here and then you are uh, you're all good and you can post this to uh, cdr uh, just make sure to change some of the data to reflect the actual data that you want to post uh, now, this same uh, tool is also available uh, as an open source tool and that is called uh, OpenAir OPT, right? It's under uh, this URL. I'll put this down in the description below. So what you do here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to build this and use it yourself. So here we have the option of uh, generating XML and JSON. And in this case, it's actually canonical JSON. So I'm actually going to, I already have this built, but I'm just going to walk you through the steps uh, that you need to do this yourself. So I'm just gonna open up my terminal. And uh, as you can see, I'm just opening this up in VS Code. So we have, uh, you know, I have um, multiple compositions here already. So what I'm going to do is this is the uh, readme file of this uh, repository and you just need to do gradle build. So make sure you have uh, Groovy installed and uh, gradle installed. So and if your Groovy is installed, you need to also make sure that your uh, um, Groovy home environment variable is set. So this needs to be set. Uh, if you are installing it uh, using the traditional methods this will us usually be set so after that we have to run um, you know gradle build so after you do that that's going to take a while and it's going to build all of this into a jar so after that you can just use this um, convenience script that uh, pablo has provided the opt.sh can just use this script to run this um, project so i'm just going to be doing that right now so the way this works is, uh, let's just see, opt.sh and uh, you will get the usage as to how, how you do this. So there are three um, different commands. One is uigen, the other is ingen, and the other is uh, inval. There is also trans, this is to transform an opt in XML or JSON to something else. So we will only be taking a look at ingen in this uh, demo. So let's take a look at in gen and it tells you how to use this so we already have our uh, opt file this prescription.opt file uh, we'll be using this for this demo so i'm also just going to create another folder i already have something here called ui where i have other um, compositions but i'm going to create something new for you um, i'm just going to call it uh, compositions right and we have this new folder here so I'm just going to do opt.sh ingen and the path to the opt that would be our prescription.opt and the destination folder would be compositions. Um, now you can also mention the amount of uh, the, you know amount of uh, compositions you want and what type of composition you want. I'm just going to um, move my camera around real click quick so you can see all this. Uh, so you, we have amount, the composition and the other, you know, other uh, things are also there. So let's just do that. Uh, I want just one composition and I want it of type composition. So you can see that you can also generate a version if you like. 
you can also do it in the json format you can do a json composition or a json version so let's just do um, composition for now so that will generate uh, this file for us and let's take a look at that and here you can see it's basically the same uh, kind of file that uh, the web interface generates but it will be a lot more helpful for you um, if you are doing you know automated stuff for example maybe you have a ci cd pipeline and you want to generate these example compositions automatically um, so you can also do it in json and this time uh, i'm going to generate more than one so json composition and uh, instead of just asking for one let's let's do 10 okay uh, and here uh, the width participants basically adds the participants also to the composition we don't really want that here so let's just generate 10 more compositions and uh, yeah just like that you can see that we've generated all of these uh, sample compositions and uh, if you do everything right and you all you need to do is uh, take this uh, composition and replace it with the values that you want uh, so that you can do by basically just uh, binding it with your user interface and then changing the values a little uh, then you are ready to post this you can just post this to the open air rest api you don't need to use uh, ehr scape or flat you can just you post both the xml and the json if they are canonical directly to the open air rest api so that's it for this video in the next video we'll be taking a look uh, at the ehr base sdk and how to work with that thanks a lot for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos like this and uh, if you have any questions just put them down in the comments below or send me an email it's siddharth at medblocks.org and uh, you can also check out our consultation services if you want long-term support uh, just go to medblocks.org consultation and i'll see you in the next one